Hey friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm Whitney and today's video is going to be one of my favorites. I have done one of these for the past two years. This will be my third and it is Christmas vacation inspired DIYs. So stay tuned. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is my absolute favorite Christmas movie and so each year I've made a couple DIY pieces to put around the house and this year is no exception. So I wanted to share with you some of the different projects that I have DIY'd with a ton of affordable supplies. I will link any cut files I use down below and let's get into the Christmas festive season. Let's kick it off with these Uncle Lewis and Aunt Bethany signs, and they are two of my favorite characters in the movie. So it started with these two Dollar Tree signs, and I went through and popped off the back of each so that they were easier to work with. To create the graphics I used, I used Canva and then I did a Google image search for Aunt Bethany and Uncle Lewis illustrations. I was able to grab these two images and add text in Canva to create essentially a printable. Then I added some Mod Podge to the sign and hooked my little printables to my sign. And that was it. The last step was to just add some hot glue and add back the frame and it was ready to go. I also added the little hanger on the back, back to the sign, just so then that way I could hang it in my gallery wall in our dining room. I will link all the source information I can down below, as well as the different fonts that I used within Canva, but both of these are so adorable and these images will show up later. Here's another super easy Dollar Tree DIY. For this one, I grabbed a little porcelain wedding sign, but you could grab any of the porcelain ones. They've got square ones like this at Dollar Tree. And then I just took some apple red Rust-Oleum paint and gave it two coats. Then I created a little decal for it and I just ended up using the actual Tylenol logo. Then for my Tylenol bottle, I found one of these randomly in their candle aisle. So I got rid of all the shells in the raffia, replaced it with some Dollar Tree Tylenol, as well as some Baker's Twine. And this is such an adorable little addition to my tiered trays. And they go really cute with my little Clark Griswold Pop Funko. I will link both of these guys down below. I got the Clark one from Walmart because it was cheaper. And then Eddie came from Amazon and they are such fun decor pieces. Another piece that would be great for a tiered tray. When I saw this mason jar Christmas sign at Dollar Tree, I knew exactly that it had to be Christmas vacation and it had to be something with Jelly of the Month Club. So I started by dismantling the sign. I took off the jute twine and then I used some sandpaper and some water to get off all of the sticker except for the top part where it looks like the lid. Then once it was dry, I gave it two coats of Waverly chalk paint and then I cut out this decal which I designed. So I will link the free cut file down below. I cut out the text in black and then the little swimsuit in red as well as the cross out of Griswold Family Swimming Pool Fund and then added some little ribbon to finish off the look. I love how simple this is but it is so funny. I like that it is different than what you typically see for Christmas vacation. There are a lot of different sayings that are very popular but they're used over and over again. The only downside is that the sign was too small to put the gift that keeps on giving the whole year through. This next one has to be one of my favorites in this whole video and it is this Clark Griswold illustrated sign. I made it for super cheap and I'm going to show you a really fun Cricut hack. So I grabbed this thankful sign last year on fall clearance from Hobby Lobby. It was less than five bucks. That's the time to score. I taped off the edges and gave it three coats of white Waverly chalk paint to give myself a base. Then to create my cut file, I went to the site png2svg.com. I will link it below and I selected this file I also found on a Google image search. And what this site does is you can tell it how many colors are in your image and it will peel it apart and create an SVG file for you. Now this is not foolproof, but it will give you a really great place to start. So once I had everything kind of separated, as you can see here, I downloaded it and then uploaded it into Design Space. 
Once you're in design space, you're gonna to wanna to click the contour button down in the corner and you can go through and any of those little random colors, you can unclick and it gave me five different colors when it spit out the SVG, but I decided I only wanted to do the black outline of Clark and then the red hat. You could have done white on the background, but because the sign was already white, I wasn't worried about it. Then I cut them out on regular vinyl. This stuff came from Expressions Vinyl. They're my favorite, I will link them down below. And then I went through and weeded. Now I'm cutting off chunks of this particular piece and that helps me weed. So then that way I'm not pulling one big piece off and the pieces all come with. So I kind of section it. And then this is how I combined the red and black before I stuck it on the sign. I took some transfer tape also from Expressions Vinyl and I inserted the little hat piece. Because the black is the outline, I was able to line it up really easily and stick it down. And this just helped me so that I was sticking the entire thing as one piece onto my sign. Then I added some additional transfer tape, made sure everything was stuck, and then it was time to transfer to my sign that was dry. You're gonna wanna make sure your paint is fully dry so the transfer tape doesn't peel it up. Then I got it lined up, took some painter's tape down the center and did kind of a fold method. And this I like because you know it's lined up and it's not moving. So I just cut off the backing for one side, then I peeled off the other side and stuck it down. The last step is to peel off all of your transfer tape. And then if you do wanna seal it, you could use a polycrylic Mod Podge, just any water-based sealer. But because it's staying in my bathroom, I'm not worried about it. It's a half bath, so there's not gonna be any like shower moisture or anything. I decided to add a little bit extra on the side of nobody's walking out on this fun old-fashioned family Christmas. It could also be cute to say this fun old-fashioned blank Christmas and insert your last name. There's a ton of different options that you can do there as far as personalization, but I was so proud of the sign when I finished it. And I also love that SVG to PNG feature. And to finish off the wall in my bathroom, I had two prints that were just of Chicago posters and I wanted to give it a little bit of Christmas flair. So I designed both of these in Canva and a really cool Christmas decorating hack is to take your everyday prints and print out a Christmas print. So then that way you can swap them out when you get to different holidays and you don't have to buy any more decor. You just have the prints that you swap out within the frame. Now, if you really liked those little illustrations you'll love this i purchased a really inexpensive illustration pack for christmas vacation off of etsy which will be linked down below to specifically make these coasters so i've made these before but i love them and it protects your tables and it's a really fun way to incorporate decor so for this you're going to need some dishwasher safe mod podge some four by four printed pictures i ended up doing little printables and these tiles that you can get for eight cents at home depot you're going to go through with a layer of Mod Podge, stick your 4x4 picture down, and then seal the top with another thin coat of Mod Podge. And that's it for the top part. To finish it off, to make sure it doesn't scratch anything, I add four dots of hot glue and then just some little pieces of felt I cut. They don't have to be any type of size because nobody's looking at the bottom. And I added those so they won't scratch each other when they stack and you won't scratch your table. These are perfect for your moose cup full of eggnog. They would also be really fun for conversation starters at a party. You could do this for any movie. It doesn't have to be Christmas Vacation. The Etsy shop that I bought these from has a ton of other ones that are so cute. They've got Schitt's Creek. They've got Home Alone. They've got a ton of different options, so I'll link some of my favorites down below. But I literally just took the illustrations, lined them up, and then added the text in Canva and printed my 4x4s at Walgreens, and it turned out so good. I may have went a little overboard. I ended up making eight, two sets of four, but I absolutely love them. And I was able to work in Uncle Lewis and Aunt Bethany. Speaking of our favorite 80 year old, this sweatshirt is something that I absolutely had to make. I found this file also on Etsy. I'm like on a binge to support other creators. I'm just loving it. And so I purchased this SVG, cut it out on some heat transfer vinyl, and it was a pain in the butt to weed. However, the sweatshirt's so worth it. So it was a labor of love for sure. I went through, weeded out all of the pieces, and then I ended up adding it to this fun red sweatshirt that I found at Walmart. It's a time and true sweatshirt and it was under eight bucks. So I think even with purchasing the file, I ended up making this for under 15. And it's also nice when people are like, hey, where did you get that sweatshirt from? You can say, I made it myself. 
I use my Cricut Easy Press to transfer, but you could also use an iron. And I love how this turned out. Like all of the little bits of info is hilarious. The fact that it says surprise your family. And also it says add crunch to jello. Like it is hilarious. And then at the bottom, the best part is it says it's not every day that someone moves into a new house. It just encompasses so many of the things that I love about Aunt Bethany. So it is so fun and I would recommend the SVG. If you're also a fan of The Blessing or Uncle Lewis, they've got a similar SVG. And our final project on this Christmas vacation extravaganza, put a tree down in the comments if you made it this far, is this really fun wreath. I actually was about to donate this wreath. I made it probably five or six years ago for my office at a previous job and it is no longer my style and I was just gonna donate it and I was about to go out the door and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna be able to repurpose this. It's perfect for my Christmas vacation DIY video. So I went through and just removed everything. If you don't have a burlap wreath already, I have a video showing you how I made that. So I will link that down below. And then I ended up using a ton of things that I used on prior projects to finish off this wreath. So I just took some Dollar Tree foam board and added some of those four by four pieces that I had from the coasters. Then I also added some of the decals. So this is the Jelly of the Month Club decal from the sign earlier to just a piece of foam board. And I thought it would just be super easy to hook it to the wreath. This one says, why is the floor all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. I used a Dollar Tree wood sign that I had painted with black acrylic paint. And this one says, burn some dust, eat my rubber. Just a ton of your favorite quotes. You could put whatever you want on this. And again, you could do this for any of your favorite Christmas movies. But I started to decorate my wreath with a Dollar Tree light necklace. And I liked this because you could turn it on and have your wreath glow. Then I just used some hot glue to hook my different pieces with my favorite quotes around the sign. I added a couple Dollar Tree trees next to Why is the Floor All Wet Todd? I don't know, Margo. And then I added a little moose cup that I had recently gotten. It's like shot glass size from Kohl's. So this, I love the simplicity. You could definitely go super tacky with this if you want, but I really love all of the favorite quotes here and it would be fun for each member of your family to pick out their favorite quotes. You could do a lot of fun things with this and any of these could also just be put on signs if you like these better than other quotes I selected. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your favorite Christmas vacation quote down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.